Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an intriguing research topic to dive into. The impact of China's military modernization efforts on Taiwan's security strategies and how Taiwan's response affects regional stability. This is a critical issue in international relations, and we'll explore why it's important. Importance of the research topic. The research on China's military modernization's impact on Taiwan's security strategies is of paramount importance due to its potential to shape the future of regional and global stability. It addresses a critical security dilemma in the Asia-Pacific region, which involves two major players with complex relations. Understanding the dynamics and consequences of this ongoing military modernization is crucial for policymakers, international observers, and scholars seeking to prevent conflicts and maintain peace in the region. Real-world examples. Real-world example 1. In 1996, China conducted missile tests in the Taiwan Strait, prompting the United States to deploy aircraft carriers in response. This escalation underscored the significance of Taiwan's security strategies and their potential to affect regional stability. It also highlighted the delicate balance of power in the region and the need for ongoing research to analyze evolving dynamics. Real-world example 2. More recently, in 2020, Taiwan increased its defense budget significantly to counter China's growing military capabilities. This move demonstrated the real-world impact of China's military modernization efforts on Taiwan's security policies. It also drew international attention to the potential ramifications for regional stability, making this research topic even more crucial for understanding and managing geopolitical tensions in the Asia-Pacific. Chapter 1, Introduction Chapter 1 typically includes an introduction to the research topic, background information, and context to establish its significance. It also outlines the research problem, research questions, objectives, rationale, and provides an overview of the entire research study. In Chapter 1, titled, Introduction, we set the stage for our research. Let's break down the key components of this chapter. Research Problem The research problem is the question we seek to answer. In this case, it's something like, how does China's military modernization challenge Taiwan's security, and what are the consequences for regional stability? Research Significance The significance of this research lies in understanding the dynamics in the Asia-Pacific region. The outcome has implications for global security and economic interests, making it a matter of global concern. Research Questions how have China's military modernization efforts evolved over the past decade? What are the key elements of Taiwan's security strategies in response to these efforts? How do Taiwan's security decisions impact regional stability? Research Objectives To analyze the development and capabilities of China's military modernization. To examine Taiwan's security policies and strategies. To assess the regional consequences of Taiwan's security decisions. Research Rationale The rationale explains why this research is necessary. It could be something like, understanding the complex interplay between China and Taiwan is crucial to predicting potential conflicts and ensuring peace in the region. Chapter 2, Literature Review Chapter 2, The Literature Review, comprises an extensive examination of existing scholarly literature related to the research topic, including key theories, models, and empirical studies. It identifies gaps in the current body of knowledge and lays the foundation for the research by showcasing relevant theories, concepts, and previous research findings. This is where we gather insights from existing research. Here are some subtopics with examples. Theories and models. Realism, as an example balance of power theory, constructivism, as an example idea shaping foreign policy, game theory, as an example prisoner's dilemma in international relations. Literature Gap Previous studies may have focused on China's military buildup, but few have comprehensively explored Taiwan's security responses and their consequences. This gap in the literature underscores the need for our research. Chapter 3, Methodology Chapter 3, the Methodology Chapter, details the research methods and approaches used in the study, such as the research philosophy, strategy, data collection methods, and ethical considerations. It also often includes a description of the conceptual framework that guides the research, providing a clear roadmap for how data will be gathered and analyzed to address the research questions. 
Chapter 3, Methodology, lays out how we'll conduct our research. Here are some recommendations. Conceptual Framework. Independent Variables China's Military Capabilities, Taiwan's Security Policies, Regional Stability. Dependent Variable Impact on Regional Security. Research Philosophy. Recommendation Pragmatism Balancing Qualitative and Quantitative Approaches. Research Approach. Recommendation Deductive Starting with a Theory and Testing it Against Data. Research Strategy. Recommendation Case Study Approach Focusing on China-Taiwan Relations. Data Analysis Method. Recommendation Qualitative Analysis of Policy Documents, Interviews with Experts, and Surveys of Public Opinion. Ethical Considerations. Ensuring informed consent and protecting the anonymity of interviewees. Limitations and delimitations. Limitations might include language barriers, while delimitations could specify the time frame of the study. Chapter 4, Data Analysis. Chapter 4, the Data Analysis Chapter, presents the actual analysis of the data collected during the research, whether it's quantitative or qualitative in nature. It includes the interpretation of findings, charts, graphs, and any statistical tests conducted to address the research questions, allowing readers to understand the outcomes of the study and their implications. Chapter 4, Data Analysis, follows the methodology recommendations. Quantitative Analysis. If we were using quantitative data, we might gather information from 500 survey participants. Qualitative Analysis. In qualitative analysis, we could interview 20 experts in the field. Chapter 5, Conclusion and Recommendations. The conclusion chapter ties everything together and emphasizes the importance of our findings. The recommendations chapter offers actionable insights. Future research suggestions. Finally, for future research, consider exploring the role of international actors in the China-Taiwan conflict, the economic implications of regional instability, the impact of technological advancements on military strategies, and that's a wrap for today's YouTube script on this vital research topic. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting research content. Thanks for tuning in.